What's up guys, we're back here at Ark World, and the event is still ongoing, but we have a huge dilemma right now. So we've got enough BSLT, we have 3,411 BSLT to go ahead and open up those, about 300 of those boxes, the Wealth of Fortune or Fortune of Wealth boxes, but let's talk about the dilemma that we have here. And this is something that I personally love, is the shopping aspect of the game. Right? So we've talked about this in multiple different videos, but over time you start to see really good deals on the auction house, especially for weapons and armors. So we are here looking at the five tier weapons, and you'll notice that this one kind of stands out. This is a Conqueror's Bow at five tier arcane status, and it's only 1,897 BSLT. So that feels really, really cheap, right? That's a five tier weapon. Uh, you know, for 1900 BSLT. So the debate is, is it a good deal? Is it not a good deal? Let's go crunch some numbers and show you kind of what we're thinking about this. So in order to crunch the numbers, you got to figure out how much it costs you to actually make that kind of a weapon. So you go to characters, you go to equipment improvements, and you're going to look at the, the mats that are required to upgrade to tier five. So specifically, you need the Artisan Awakening Scroll. So first off, you need the Shadigan Arcane Crystal, which is currently around 325, maybe 350 BSLT. You need some of these guys, which are really nothing, so zero, we'll zero those out. You need a little bit of Bright Rift Stones, which are, you know, zero, nothing, worthless. And then you also need a Purple Archeum Core, which has actually gone down significantly. So let's go and take a look at the Purple Archeum Core. And I think they're around like 50 BSLT right now. So that's the Shard. And see the shard is only three and then if we just do core and we go exact we can see it's about 65 bslt so 65 for the core the shadow gun is 325 or 350 so like i said are in that range so 65 and 325 we'll just round that up to 400 bslt so it's going to cost you 400 BSLT, and then we know that the percentage chance of actually upgrading is 33%. So when you look at that, that means it's going to take you one in three chances on, you know, on average to upgrade. Yes, it might be a little bit lower than that because every time that you fail, you're going to get a 5% increase. So your odds go up. But on average, we'll just say it's going to take you one in three to actually upgrade. So you're like, okay, it's going to cost you 1,200 BSLT to upgrade a weapon on average. But wait, that would be wrong because we've completely forgotten about the Archeum cost and then the labor cost that is needed to craft this scroll. And then also you do use labor to actually awaken the item as well. So... The labor is not that expensive. This we'll just say this is about two BSLT because you got three thousand there, and you got uh, three hundred there. So it's you know very minor, maybe one BSLT at this current price, right? So very minor. But the Archeum is no joke. This is twenty thousand Archeum. So in order to craft this scroll, that's going to cost you around one hundred and fifty, one hundred and forty BSLT. So that changes our price dramatically from four hundred BSLT up to about 550 BSLT. So we type in Archeum, and then we go ahead and look for 10Ks. And you notice it's about 67 BSLT. So we need two of those, which again, is gonna be about 135, 140. So your price goes up. We're roughly at 550 BSLT to attempt to upgrade. And we said it's going to take three chances to get this success. And it's not guaranteed because this is RNG. So 550 times three comes out to 1650. So which means that we could probably make this bow ourselves. But once again, we're still forgetting some things. This bow is already upgraded to the conqueror's status. This bow also already has a green stat bonus on it. So these things need to be taken into consideration. The upgrade to five tier status is actually going to cost you. Let's see. So there's no way to find out right here, but we can go to the players. So we can go over here, go to the rankings and we can take a look 
at people's gear scores. And what we need to do is we need to find a blue five tier bow and we can see how much XP is needed to level up. So it needs 51,000 XP to level up, which means 50,000 Archeum. So you take that 60, we'll say 70 price for the Archeum, times it by five, that's another 350 BSLT that we have to put into this gear. The stats, we don't have an idea on how rare getting a blue or green stat is, but it is nice to already have one, one bonus green stat right there. So we add 350 and now we're up to 1900 on the price to make this bow. So it's right at like the break even price. And again, you don't know it's RNG chance. You could get it on the first scroll. You could upgrade it at 33% chance or you could fail. So I think this is a pretty good deal because we haven't even factored in the cost that it takes to make a tier four bow. So if we go back and we look at how much it is to make a tier four bow, we can see the tier four bow is approximately 100 BSLT for a tier four bow. And then you have to feed it Archeum once again. So you gotta feed it 25,000 Archeum roughly, which again is another 200 roughly BSLT. So you're looking at an additional 300 BSLT cost. So now instead of costing 1900, you're costing 2200 BSLT to actually have created this weapon. So when you look at it that way, this is actually undervalued a little bit. Yes, you could get lucky, and yes, you could get it on the first try. Yes, your percentage chance does go up if you fail, but it is also very common to actually fail four or five or six times in a row with a 33% chance. I mean, I failed six times on a 50% chance with my armor going up to tier four. So with all things considered, this bow is pretty good deal. And so this is where my dilemma is, is like, there's two different things that you could do, right? You could buy the bow, use the bow to earn more BSLT by farming arenas, rankings, everything. It's gonna help you, you know, earn more BSLT. Or you could wait for 24 hours to let the price potentially go down if someone else doesn't buy the bow. You could also use the BSLT on the gambling event, the Wealth of Fortune chest, and potentially make some BSLT, potentially get a bigger land. But last time we, we lost BSLT and we got a small land, so it kind of didn't work out for us, right? So there's so many different choices that you can make, and this is just one piece of gear and one decision, right? There's also, maybe you wanna buy four tier weapons, or four tier armors, or four tier accessories, right? Like there's so many different choices that you can make and to upgrade your character. And with all these different choices, there's gonna be some really good decisions and really good choices that you can make. There's of course gonna be some really terrible and bad decisions. One of the thoughts with weapons and armor is that you would think that over time, weapons and armors are all gonna depreciate and go down in value. Well, I think that is really true for the four tier weapons and armor. I think these guys will probably go down to about 150 BSLT in a couple of months. So I think these guys are going to depreciate. The five tier weapons and armor, I don't think are actually going to go down much, if any. And the reason I think this is because they require that purple Shadowgun. And the Shadowgun's crystal, even on the Asian server, are still 400, 500 BSLT. It's still very, very expensive to get and to make that purple Shadowgun. So at 33% chance, you're, you know, on average saying it's going to be 1,500 for that upgrade, plus all of the prior materials that are needed for everything before, and then also all of the mats and everything associated with crafting the scrolls. So just because the Shadowgun stayed so expensive on the Asian server, I think that this buying this bow is the more correct play in this situation. And then it also, it's cool. It's one of the cool things I like. It has four reroll chances on it, so we can buy it, and then we can reroll some of the white stats 
and we have a chance to get some better stats on this thing. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and purchase this bow right here. So thank you for whoever sold this bow. Uh, for those reasons, and uh, even more, because in the future, like I said, I think at worst case scenario, I'd be able to sell the bow for 1,500 BSLT, you know, like five, six, seven months later. Whereas the other things I don't know, with the gambling event, I have to, my BSLT is locked up for two weeks and I don't get any immediate benefits out of it. So even if I do win, you know, 10,000 BSLT, like get super lucky in the event, it's locked up for two weeks. So who knows what could happen in two weeks. This bow is obviously not gonna generate 10,000 BSLT when I use it in game. Like I'm not gonna get 10,000 from the arena. I'm not gonna get 10,000 from farming ancestrals or from farming rifts, but I am gonna get a guaranteed small amount of BSLT for using this bow. And then the leaderboards are also gonna give me a small amount of BSLT. It's gonna keep me in the top 100 rankings. So let's go ahead and reroll these stats over here. So we wanna keep the melee critical damage just because it's a green stat right now. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and reroll the aggro and reroll the magic defense. And we're gonna go see what we get. All right, so melee critical rate. We're gonna go ahead and go ahead and change that. We're gonna confirm it because we don't want aggro as an archer. So if we are using this bow in the raid battles, we don't want to have more aggro. Um, so magic defense is great. We'll keep that one for now. We're gonna go ahead and reroll the melee critical rate and see what we get. All right, so we got melee critical damage, 1%. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and change that over. So critical damage, critical damage. And so you have to think about it in the future too, like when you're gonna sell this bow, if I don't like any of these stats, then maybe it's gonna be sent for a melee character, right? So if we get all these melee bonuses on it, maybe a melee character is like, ooh, that's a really good bow for melee. Like, I wanna buy that. So we're gonna go ahead and go reroll the magic defense right now. See what we get here with our last reroll. And we got backstab magic damage. So we're gonna cancel on that one. And no luck, unfortunately, on rerolling these stats. But there we have it. That was the dilemma. Let me know in the comment section. Do you think I made the right choice? Do you think I made the wrong choice? What are your thoughts? Would you have bought this bow if you saw it and had the funds available? I'd love to hear from you guys. Let me know in the comment section down below. And good luck. Happy shopping. Happy grinding. And I will see you guys in game.